Uh, good morning, Peter. It's just a quick video of your new car to show you where one or two things are. So, just starting around the front, going around to the passenger side. Cleaner than last time you saw it. So, uh, fuel filler releases this one just here. It pushes in, pops out, and just unscrews as you can see. Okay. Now, this locks with the central door locking, so don't worry about that. Boot release on this little button just under here. Just there, look. Just push that in. Go around to the driver's side. So, on the driver's door, you've got four electric window switches, lock and unlock for the car and lock for the rear windows. Mirror adjustment is here, look, so it's left and right, and it just use a circle to make the adjustments. And this is set to fold when the car's locked. Okay. Just down here, you've got the height adjuster for the seat. Electric lumbar adjustment. And then your backrest is that one just there. Just getting into the car. To the right hand side on the panel you've got headlight adjuster, dashboard lights, lane departure assist off switch and electronic stability program off switch. So that stays on all the time, that's probably best used just on the motorway. Uh, wipers are just here and it's upwards. You twist for the rear wiper, um, you pull towards to wash the screen and you twist to wash the back screen. Into the car. On the right hand side of the steering wheel you've got the cruise control function and the trip computer. And on the left hand side of the steering wheel you've got uh, telephone, volume, radio stations and then change from AM to FM to the media player. Headlights are just here and they're auto settings. So you flip them onto auto and they basically come on when it gets dark. But on the centre console you've got drive mode. Uh, in conjunction with your hill, um, cruise control, you've got hill assist, downhill assist rather. That switches the stop start technology off and that switches the parking sensors off. Okay. Now, reverse gear on this one is a collar underneath the gear lever and then across and up. And so that also puts the camera on. Uh, heater controls are just here, it's climate control and uh, it's separate for either side of the car should you wish. If you want it just from one side, you press the sync button, okay, and then uh, the auto button, and basically you set your temperature to what you want it to be, press the auto button, and the car will maintain that temperature for you constantly. Switch that off for now, though. Okay, and then this is the uh, media player. Now, to set it up, you go into the settings page just here, okay, and to connect your phone, go to Bluetooth, paired devices, Pencil. Adding new Bluetooth devices. Okay, and the basic instructions there. So your Bluetooth basically needs to be switched on in the settings page on your phone, so it's visible. And then when also it'll come up on Tucson, and just follow the instructions on your phone. And then. You've got navigation just there, which is basically postcode recognition. I'll put you into England. It works in all these different countries, so United Kingdom. And just type postcode in, or you can type address in, so that's easy. And uh, we'll see you later on. Thank you.